Hi everybody, get ready, we are making paella today. First we are going to blend our ingredients. We have one tablespoon of ginger paste, one tablespoon of garlic paste, couple of pieces of cloves, four pieces of turmeric, red bell pepper, orange bell pepper, green bell pepper, red onion, yellow onion, and shallot. We are going to combine them all in the blender and we're gonna blend them until they smooth. We forgot to mention we are going to add the green onions also. I will list all the ingredients and the measurement on the description box. After we finish blending that, we are going to blend our fresh tomatoes. Finish with that, we are going to add our oil. We have two cups of oil. I'm using olive oil and canola oil, but you can use any oil you like. And I have two pounds of lamb, two pounds of chicken. You don't have to put lamb if you want to. You can put beef or you can just use the chicken. I have chicken leg and thai together, which is I seasoned earlier. Now we are going to fry it about 10 minutes on each side until it's golden. And we are going to flip it and fry the other side after that. So the other side get golden brown we are going to take off our meat and set it aside for later then we are going to add the blended tomatoes from earlier and the ingredients that we blended also earlier we're going to only add three quarter of the blend ingredients and the other quarter we're going to save it for later and you're going to have to stir about maybe 20 to 25 minutes until we get the consistent that we want. We are going to add about half teaspoon of salt. Be careful with the salt because the ingredient we're gonna use to season, they have salt in it. After that, we're going to add oyster sauce. Soy sauce. Black pepper. And we are going to add food coloring. It's paella, so we need it to be yellow. And I have another one that I'm going to add. This is the one I just add now. And it's another one that this one, I'm only going to add one pack. You can add two if you want. Just remember they have salt. So you have to be very careful with your salt. The soy sauce, the oyster sauce, they all have salt on it.
we're going to add the leftover lamb because my kids they eat half of my lamb after I finish frying it that's what they do when I finish frying lamb they just eat half of it before I finish cooking so be careful if you have kids around that who like lamb like mine and this is the consistent that we want so you have to be patient with it so you can get it to be like that that's what you're looking for and we are going to stir and then we're gonna add our chicken in again after we add the chicken we are going to add six cups of water After five minutes, we come back to stir and we're gonna reduce the heat. We are going to add our seasoning. We have chicken bouillon and beef bouillon. Earlier, I added my Jamaican joke seasoning. I only added one teaspoon because it's spicy. If you want, you can add more. And we added our cumin and the leftover seasoning from earlier that we blended we are gonna stir it and put the lid back on for another 10 to 15 minutes in the meanwhile we are going to wash our rice i will show you guys how i wash my rice i wash it about three to four times i make sure all the water is drained and i take a dry paper towel what you're gonna see here, I put it on top of the rice and sprinkle water into the paper towel. And we are going to put it in the microwave for about six minutes and a half. Then we are going to get ready to fry our seafood. I will list the seafood that I use on the description box. I have some of the shrimps that I left the head on so I can decorate it it just make it nice when you decorate it with the hair um, we are going to fry it please be careful when you fry the shrimps because the hair they have the eye on them so they pop and they can burn you please be careful you can fry them on each side about five to ten seconds because they cook fast so don't leave them in the oil too long I did season my seafood earlier with all bay seasoning just a little bit and now we're going to take off the chicken and the lamb out of the sauce and we're going to set it aside at this point you can try your salt if you think you need more salt you can go ahead and add salt or you can add oyster sauce or soy sauce I am adding oyster sauce and then I am going to add more black pepper and we are going to stir to add our rice I took off some of the rice earlier but I think I'm going to add all of it all the six cup I didn't want my rice to get mushy so you don't want it to be mushy
going to stir and put the lid on for about 15 to 20 minutes we're gonna come back and check it we're gonna stir just slowly and make sure the heat is reduced we're gonna put the lid back on for another 15 to 20 minutes we're gonna come back and check it it's almost there but it's not done yet I put the frozen peas on the microwave and drain the extra water. Now we are going to add it. And we're going to add the seafood. We're going to give it a stir. And we're going to add the lamb. We're going to save the chicken for later. I am going to serve my paella today. And a special plate was given to me from my late aunt that I loved like a mother. But Jindanjai Gore, I miss you. You will be always in my heart. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video today. Please like, share, and comment on Yarama.